Ahoy friends, old guy here. So earlier today we did the red onion video. Now we're gonna do a chicken spaghetti casserole dinner. What do you need for it? Okay, well let's take a gander. Right on over here. Oh God, there's Lexi's not letting us. Lexi, please move. Please move, yes. Okay, thank you. Anyway, uh, you need we uh, got a rotisserie chicken. You can go the old fashioned way and boil your chicken down and then use the broth from that. Um, but I just spent six bucks and bought a rotisserie chicken. Pull it apart, put it in a bowl. In, in said bowl, we will put the onions, green pepper, red pepper. We will also put two cans of cream of mushroom soup. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, chicken broth in there. We're gonna grate some of our own cheese. We're gonna use, uh, yeah, extra sharp cheddar. Now, a little tip that I heard from a birdie, uh, call it a rumor if you want, whatever, uh, is that you grate your own cheese because the already grated cheese that you buy from the store has a preservative on it that does something to the melting process if you wanna melt it, and it doesn't make it as good. So always do your own. Um, we're also gonna put some salt and pepper. This is the spaghetti we're gonna do. We're gonna do veggie spaghetti because it's delicious. Uh, we're also gonna put a tiny bit of cayenne, magic spice, and parsley in there. Parsley. Well, let's let's just uh, let's set you up. Let's set you up and start adding things. Why not? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so into the same bowl that we have our chicken. In it goes. We should have used a larger bowl, but that's okay. That is okay. It is just a vehicle for transfer. All right, we're going to add that. We're going to add our cream o mushroom soup. In it goes. Two cans. Lexi's giving me a look like, just give it to me. Just feed me. Okay, let's mix it around a little bit there. Now you can see that I need a larger bowl. Let's just go get the larger bowl. Yeah, it makes more dishes. But what are you gonna do? Probably gonna end up doing the dishes anyway. All right. Okay, yes, much easier to work with here. Okay, so mix that around. How much salt and pepper are we gonna put in it? We're gonna eyeball it. All right, our water is about boiling back there, ready for the pasta to go in. Big fan of the crushed ground pepper in there. How much cayenne are we gonna put in? Shake, 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 shake. That's enough. Granny's magic spice. Put in just a touch. Just a touch. Parsley. Just enough, just a little bit. Not much at all. All right, let's mix that around. Now that is going to make the inside of our casserole. And let's add a little bit of broth too. Now you don't want it to be thick when it goes in. You want it to be a little loose when it goes into the, the oven. It's going to go to the oven for 40 minutes at 350. Because it'll thicken up once it's in there. Now I'm going to go add the pasta to the water. I don't think I need to show you that. I'm not going to insult you. Um... And I'll bring you back once we add the pasta to the same bowl. Be back soon. All right, welcome back. I forgot to show you about uh, the cheese because I'm using the cheese grater to prop up my phone. But uh, here is all the grated cheese right here. I put probably about half of it in already. I put the I already I cooked the pasta and put it in as well. Mixed it around. It's it's a big old mess right now. It's a thick mess. 
So we are going to add more broth. Try to loosen that. There we go. Yes. Yes, it loosened it up. Lovely, lovely. I undercooked the pasta a little bit because uh, it's going to cook a little bit more in the oven. Now, let's transfer it over into the casserole dish. What a lovely noise that made. <laughs> Sort of a, yeah, we'll just leave that be. Anyway, so now let's spread it out and even it out all over the dish. Oh man, that is fitting wonderfully in there. So that veggie pasta, I love it. Nobody I've ever given it to or fed it to can tell the difference. You probably have to be a pasta aficionado to actually know. So, here we go. Now we're going to add another layer of sharp cheddar cheese on the top. That will melt on so perfectly. We're also going to add a little bit more salt touch of the pep. All right, and that goes in that oven for 40 minutes. I'll probably check it at 30 and see how we're looking. Uh, I'll bring it back and show you the end. Okay, here we are, 40 minutes in the oven, and this is the result right here. Looks delicious, looks delicious. We're eating it with a little broccoli. Uh, try it and tell me what y'all think. Have a nice day. Bye.